Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to do a quick uh, catch up video, or whatever, get you guys all up to date. So um, I've started pulling the Buell apart. Um, I released a short, just kind of glancing over the bike in its current state. Um, you've pretty much seen it this way before. I got the uh, idler um, taken off. Got it all cleaned up. Looks really good cleaned up. I'll, I'll circle back around. Lower fairing, chin spoiler, pulled off with all of its bracketry. Um, fluids are drained. Um, I still had oil in there and, the, and you know, just in case, you know, I wanted to go for one last glory ride, opted out of that. The pipe is pulled off. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. Didn't do a ton so far. I'm just kind of piddly, piddly work. Um, pull that off, drain the remaining fuel out of this out, out of the tank, and uh, now I'm gonna think I'm gonna. I'm not sure. <laughs> I gotta look at. There, there's some ha guides on how to split the frame. I think I know what to do. I'm probably gonna need to put a jack or some dunnage underneath uh, the engine there and then lift, lift the uh, chassis away from, from the engine. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it. All I know is I gotta separate it all. I gotta take care of that. Um, everything's gotta come apart because uh, the frame's getting painted, everything's getting painted. These side cases are getting painted. Um, wheels are getting re either powder coated or I'm gonna paint them. Oh, check this out. This is the idea. All right. So I got this yellow spring and I really liked the carbon fiber and the darker colors with that yellow as a highlight. So this is the plan. The wheels are going to be black again. I'm thinking about maybe adding some gold mica in either the paint or if possible into the powder coat and a yellow pinstripe to match that, so it kind of pulls pulls the wheels into that. Um, so that's my plan on the wheels. I think that'll look pretty slick. Um, and then, I don't know, just to you know, get the engine built and all that stuff, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this pipe. It does have some rash on it right there. And uh, I might be able to get them media blasted, but that, that'll have to get, I don't know. I don't know. Either that or I'll just wrap them. I really don't know about that. The wrapped headers looked good, look good at first. Then they look like crap. <laughs> as they, as the time goes on, they end up getting furry. And so, I don't know. <laughs> the nice thing about having wrapped headers is that it keeps the heat in the pipe and um, keeps it off of all the stuff around. Well, it helps keep it off the stuff around the pipe. So anyhow, uh, you can see down in there, it's pretty wet. You can see where that base gasket was reminding me that it was there and uh, or rather not there. So this is just, you know, schmutz from the, that's just normal seepage. Somebody may disagree with me, but I've been working on stuff long enough to know that's that's not that's not a big deal. Um, anyways, yeah, that's it. I, I really just all I did today was just that one thing, and uh, here we are. So I want to keep you guys up to pay, up to snuff to where, where we're what I'm doing, and um, next time I'll try and do a time lapse. I, I just did this impromptu, just started pulling the stuff off without thinking about it. So next time I'll try and do a time lapse. I think a lot of the videos are gonna to have to be that way. I wanna to try to avoid a lot of yakking while I'm trying to work, because it is not easy to stop what I'm doing and, and talk and do all that. And uh, the editing of my videos is gonna be bare minimal, just like this one. I'm gonna load this up straight, in, straight up, just right as it is. Anyways. That's it, guys. Till next time, peace out. Keep it between the ditches.